You really think God was tripping about a ziggurat? You really think he was sweating a regular old building tower? The Tower of Babel was way more like this than like this. Think about how these are called towers. Now think of a 10G, 20G, 1000G, million G, mile and a half high tower in the sky, possibly connected to the entire pyramid grid on planet Earth, able to split dimensions possibly, and even enter God's dimension. That's right, my theory on this was that this tower could disable the entire firmament, just completely obliterate the dome. Which if you see what Nimrod's plan was, that's exactly what it was. It was to march right into God's presence and challenge him to his face for flooding the world, and taking out his Nephilim ancestor bloodline. If you do some etymology and original language word study, you realize when it says that they wanted to make a name for themselves, that particular phrase in Genesis regarding the Tower of Babel actually can mean the word renown, which means nothing to you unless you know earlier in Genesis when it talks about the product of the fallen angels and women, they were known as the men of renown. They were giants, the men who did great feats on the earth, the men of renown. So they were saying that we want to become renowned too. And if you study Nimrod's story, you realize that he became a giant. The word is Gaborim. The original text says Nimrod became a Gaborim. There's a whole fascinating study there about Nimrod learned to manipulate genetics and he actually did whatever ritual or process that involved becoming a giant or one of these Nephilim beings. What if this million G-like dimensional splitting tower was the key to all the pyramids and the ley lines and the entire worldwide energy harvesting grid? That's just a side theory. The main theory is that this tower was absolutely to disable the dome firmament. This is all for entertainment, by the way, because... Well, you know, maybe this is why some people think NASA keeps sending rocket-like missile things to try to blow up the dome. Same reason as Nimrod. Also, two quick side notes. You'll find an interesting word study in the word Shem and Pyramid all relating to Tower in the Tower of Babel. Also, in reference to the pyramids, the way they all line to Orion and were possibly all connected in this worldwide grid, maybe connecting to the Tower. But anyway, you'll find how the pyramids line to Orion and an interesting thread about how Orion could be the actual physical location of heaven. There's one there. And maybe that's why all the pyramids were aligned that way, having to do with disabling the firmament and breaking into heaven. Total ascension to the next dimension, which seems to be kind of what all the religions were about. Which the book of Jasher kind of goes into that, and says that there were three distinct camps of people at the tower who God gave all their own judgments to. One, like Nimrod's camp, who wanted to march right into heaven and just fight him face to face. One who wanted to shoot arrows into heaven from earth, once the dome was disabled. And one who just wanted free access to worship their gods face to face once the firmament was gone. The three distinct punishments were the arrow shooters were instantly taken out. The ones who wanted to worship their gods were changed into monkey and elephant-like beings according to the book of Jasher, which has a really interesting connection to the origin of Hindu gods. And even how the Hindu gods, who are elephants and monkeys, worship other gods. Just like this Tower of Babel scenario. And the final camp, Nimrod's camp, who I guess were somewhat respectable for at least wanting to challenge him face to face rather than shooting arrows, it says that God spread them all over the world. If you really think about it, it seems like the world, which was one landmass, and it says one language at the time, that at this exact event when God sent the warrior wind spirits down to just destroy it all, that this is when all the land masses were separated, and people were spread all over the world, and their languages were confused, and the origin of languages, and possibly even why we look different. So the very much spiritual, technological, stargate portal of Babel is a much more better understanding, in my opinion. One thing the Tower of Babel definitely was not was this tower right here. Let's hit one thought experiment in conclusion. The phrase that God is holding us back, holding us back from knowledge, holding us back from achieving things like he did at the Tower of Babel in the Garden of Eden. Well, let's look at it. Maybe both times there was a good reason and it was both tied to other entities and giants trying to completely take over this realm and the resets were the only way we could survive. What if we're on the verge of another incursion right now? By the way, the same people I hear talk about this say that it's the tree of knowledge and God's holding us back from knowledge. Again, it's not the tree of knowledge. It's the tree of knowledge of good and evil. We weren't meant to know that kind of good and evil in that state that we were in. The same way we weren't meant to partake in the tree of life in the state we were in either. All according to the actual context of these ancient texts. So the same omission and twisting, ironically, was the same strategy the serpent used in the tree to deceive us in the first place. And it still works now on a lot of people. Think about it. According to the texts, when we were created, literally our only commands were to eat fruit and enjoy the pleasure of multiplying in paradise. Sounds pretty good to me. Speaking of Eden, the garden was just a garden inside of Eden. Eden was whatever was outside of the garden as well. Was Eden walled? Was it on top of a mountain? Was it in what we consider the North Pole now? Anyway, it seems like God did want us to partake in the tree of life, and he did want the people as one, just under the right conditions. Maybe faith is the ultimate experiment after all. Keep thinking, but don't let those brains overheat.